Hey what's up guys, so if you have a car that doesn't have an aux adapter, then you're probably stuck listening to the radio, because CDs and tapes are dead. Don't you guys just love radio? Listen to that crisp, clear sound. Oh yeah, definitely my jam. But using this method, I think I've come up with the cheapest, best way to go from your old tape deck to some high-tech 2016 Bluetooth streaming technology. Now, yeah, you could buy something like this, but the only reliable one I found was for around 60 bucks, and it didn't even do all the cool stuff that this thing does. So um, as you saw in the intro, the two things you're gonna need is a uh, tape deck to auxiliary connector, and you're also gonna need a Bluetooth receiver. All right, first we can set our tape deck aside. We're not gonna be doing too much to this. Um, we're more gonna be focused on the Bluetooth module. And if you wanna use a tape deck just as is, great, go for it. It's only like five bucks. I actually linked both these things in the description, so uh, go check that out. And uh, yeah, problem solved. But if you really wanna step up your game to some Bluetooth, this is the best way to do it. So basically every one of these Bluetooth receivers um, has a battery inside and basically it's like a self-contained unit. But um, for cars, we don't want that. Uh, what we want is for this thing to turn on and off when the car does and um, always be on and ready to pair so when you get in your car, then you're good to go. All right, first off, let's go rip this apart. And that's what we're left with. And now we can go ahead and just remove the battery. And there we go. Now we can go ahead and put it back in the case just like normal. Now you might be wondering why did we do this? Well, when we take out the battery, we now give this thing no choice but to run off the power off the USB cord. And then we then take this USB cord, shorten it down a little bit, and then plug it into a USB car adapter. That way, whenever the car turns on, this thing turns on, and whenever the car turns off, this thing also turns off. It also might be a good idea to add a dab of hot glue to the inside because when we take the battery out, there's gonna be a lot of empty space. Now all we need to do is shorten down this cord because this thing's gonna be sitting right next to the car charger and we don't want this to be an annoyance. All right, well we now have all the parts we need to create the cheapest Bluetooth car mod. First you wanna take your cassette player and plug in the aux into your Bluetooth receiver. And you wanna take your shortened USB cord and plug that into the bottom right here. And then plug this into your power outlet. Now if you already use a USB outlet for another device, you can always just get a car adapter with two USB outlets. All right, let's go try this out. All right, so we've got our device right here. Um, now let's first go ahead and plug in the USB charger. And because I have the key turned on, the car is feeding power to the USB port, and therefore the Bluetooth device is on. So this piece can actually just go ahead and sit anywhere down by this uh, port. And we can put the tape into our tape deck. And now all it takes is one push of a button to pair this with your phone. And uh, mine's called StreamBot, so we just wanna go ahead and click that. And there we go, we're now connected. And now we can get some music, and then we can actually go ahead and hit this button for some hands-free Bluetooth audio. As you can see, we can play and pause it directly from this little button. So you don't have to fidget with your phone while you're driving. And when we turn the car on, the Bluetooth device comes on. And again, just one push of a button to pair this with your phone. And if we go ahead and turn off the car, 
the device actually shuts off because it can't stay on because we took out the battery. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this little modification you can do. Honestly, you could do this hack without taking anything apart and it'd already be less expensive than if you just bought the Bluetooth cassette tape. But um, yeah, as you can see, this hack works pretty well. Super easy build to do. And yeah, it's definitely gonna make road trips in this car a lot more fun. So if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe for some more cool projects and I will catch you in the next video.